Now earlier in the series we looked at selecting data from our database um, using different fetch ways of fetching data, um, counting the data using the native PHP count function. What we're actually going to do now is look at the row count method um, and basically all this is going to do is it's going to allow us to uh, check whether we actually have um, uh, an amount of count, um, amount of records, and it will count them for us, and then we can perform an action based on that. So you can see at the moment I've just created a query using the query method, um, and that's just select star from guest book. Um, the query works, nothing happens at the moment. Now what we can actually do is, rather than use the fetch all method, so um, earlier on what we looked at was saying results equals query fetch all and in here we can say uh, pdo fetch I don't know uh, associative array for example and then we can do a print r on results and you'll see here that we'll get all of the results back from our database now this isn't always feasible what we might want to do is we might want to check the row count and then go ahead and loop through this data so what we can do is we can say if query row count so we're using the row count method on this query here as part of the actual query that's been executed then we have results otherwise echo no results and we'll test that out in a moment so what we can do here is we'll just echo out results um, okay so at the moment this should return an in a positive integer so we can actually go ahead and just echo um, query row count out just to prove that we're getting back number four which is we have four records in our database so that's that that works um, so in here we could say we could go ahead and say while r equals query fetch pdo fetch object for example echo r message as an example so that would then go ahead and loop through and output the results um, if we have no results so if we say stick a limit zero on the end which will basically just force this to return nothing it will show us no results so that's just a quick and easy way to uh, detect whether you actually have any results and this looks a lot cleaner we can implement this within our if statement loop through the results if we have results and otherwise just return a message to the user to say that no results exist